Hello everyone, and welcome to Andrew Broussard Watercolors. Today I had a thought experiment that I wanted to put into action. So I've been playing around with the Van Dyke printing process, where essentially you are coating paper with a chemical, you're putting film on top of it, and then you are exposing it to a UV source, and then you're developing and fixing the image onto the paper. So I did some of that yesterday, and I did a test. If you'll see this square right here, uh, or this shape, this was black electrical tape that I put on the glass of my printing frame to make sure that I wasn't getting any ambient UV light. So when you look at these prints that I made, you can see there's really no white whites in it. So part of me is thinking, and I was looking around online, that my negatives aren't dense enough uh, to get the kind of full spectrum of the Van Dyke process. It could also be that I'm not um, coating the paper thick enough or there might be some other scenarios. But what I thought I would try was, would be is to take the negative for this one and take some ink and paint along right in this spot and then see how that exposes. So I'm gonna use the speedball ink. I'm gonna pour out just a teeny bit because I just need just a teeny bit. And my two things come to mind with this experiment is either it's gonna look like masking fluid was put in place, kind of like in a watercolor painting, you can tell when masking fluid is used, or um, it might give a very interesting tonalist type um, type scene, like that, that bright sunlight on the horizon. So that's the experiment. My brush doesn't seem completely clean. That's weird. Anyway, so I'm going to use the number one rigger. Grab a little bit of ink. I have my emulsion side up. And I'm going to try to very gently get in there with this. And I'm curious if a gradation can take place, meaning having pure ink in some spots and then a wash of ink. And would that wash of ink allow a little bit of light through? so that it's not completely stark white in that spot. And once again, just to reiterate, to see if I could potentially get white like that, but if I had this white right here, would it be too drastic? And can I gradiate into this? So, I'll put that in place. I'll try a thin wash, just to see. So I don't know if this has been done before, if I'm reinventing the wheel. Um, I've been posting on a lot of forums for photography and alternative photography, trying to figure out what I can do best to get better um, contact prints taking place. I'm also looking into, well, big suggestion that people had were different developers. I've been using what's called a monobath, where it has the developer and the fixer in one, where the developer processes the film, the fixer fixes the image to the film. And them being both in the same container, the same process, it's kind of a battle between the two. Or if you get one done in a certain time period, the developing and then eventually the, the fixer just takes over. But separating out the process, having a developer, then going into a fixer, you would then have, um, let's see, sorry. You would then have the ability to push more contrast in the developer from what I'm understanding. 
when I did darkroom photography in high school and college. I think we're taught, told about the chemicals, but I have no idea what chemicals we used and what brands. So it's a little struggling. Anyhow, so this is Speedball Black Ink. I put some around. You can see I do have a slight gradation taking place, so we'll see how that works. And we'll see how this dries. Got a fuzz right there. A little bit of black which would make it a little white because it's the inverse of it so on that note i'm going to stop this i'm going to let it dry and then later on today i'll try the print and then i'll show the results in the second half of this video all right y'all take care and have a good sunday bye all right everybody so i'm back um i took the film that i had painted some speedball black ink onto and I did the Van Dyke process with it so I exposed it to UV light so one of the issues that I was having just in case I didn't just to reiterate is that um, I'm not getting the high contrast and the density that I need for my negatives to get uh, white to take place in the prints so here was the print originally so this was yesterday's experiment then after painting with the ink and processing that, the ink was in the sky right here. So it gives an interesting effect to it. Um, I think all this other stuff is, I, I'm not sure what all the other issues are. I think that it was just overexposed completely right there. But anyway, it gives a very interesting textural effect in the print. And I think it might be a viable option for some really interesting mixed media. I don't know what you would call it, but um, but there you go. You can obviously see the results right there. All right, let me know what you think, what ideas you have, and I will talk to you all soon. Have a great day.